Good morning and welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4. We're at verses 14 to 17. Let's read them. Nevertheless, you have done well that you shared in my distress. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, you sent aid once and again for my necessities. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. So here is Paul. He's reminding them he was in prison. And this church, the Philippian church, this was the one that helped him out. These were the people who sent uh, and helped. Uh, not just everybody just randomly was pitching money and help to Paul, but the Philippian church was sending him help. Your church should be involved in missions, whether it's local or far away, or you should really do some of both, right? You should be helping the people as you're able, people who are legitimately needing to be helped in your community, and people who are far away. And there's many things you can do to help others. Uh, there's a ministry called Mara Vision that I'm familiar with and uh, plugged into helping uh, people in need in Africa and in Bangladesh. And this was, will always strengthen the church. The Philippian church is so engaged and it has helped Paul and it's Paul is telling them it's helped them as well. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Verse 17, Paul says that it's more blessed to give than receive. And as they have helped him, they've had a bigger blessing than he has. And so Paul is telling them, you're doing the right thing. God is working with you and God will work with us as we seek to help others. Keeping stuff hoarded up to our own self, uh, that's not good, but learning how to help our own brothers and sisters, especially maybe some who are incarcerated like Paul was, that is always a blessing. You go to visit somebody who's a church member and they're in the hospital, somebody who is very sick and you go to help them, or somebody if you go into a prison to help somebody. May we find ways to be missionaries to even our own brothers and sisters and each of them in different times of special need. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Uh, help us to be like the Philippian church, which was busy helping Paul and doing missions both locally and far away. Help us, Lord, to know how we can help others and manifest the gospel in ways that bring the truth of Jesus uh, to people so that people are drawn toward the cross of Jesus. This is our prayer today. Now, Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you.